to my channel. So as you can probably tell from the title, today I'm going to do a what's in my pencil case video. Uh, for those of you who know me in real life, you will know that I absolutely love stationery and I probably take an excess of it to school in my pencil case. So yeah, just a disclaimer, you do not need as much as I have in my pencil case. This is just what I like to take as a nerd and someone who loves stationery to school. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first thing that I will show you is my pencil case. So I have this um, squared one from, I think it's from WH Smiths. Um, I really like the shape of it, it's really easy to like get into um, and it is really large which is helpful and I just have this keyring on which was a present from my form tutor last year. So yeah, just pretty basic pencil case but yeah, good for seeing things, easy access, pretty much good all round then. So I'm going to start with the more kind of practical, boring things and then get on to kind of the more pretty, um, unnecessary stuff. So the first thing I like to keep in my pencil case, to me this is not boring but I think to most people it is, I have the Casio FX 9x60 GII um, calculator. Uh, this is the calculator that at my school I think we are required to have for A level, I'm not sure if it's just A level maths or A level further maths but anyway, um, it is a graphical calculator. It's really cool. I've had it for a while, even though it's a bit unnecessary for GCSE. I really, really like it. It's really like comfortable to use as well, which is a bit weird for me to say. But anyway, yeah, so I just have this calculator, which is just always good to have on you. I then also have my GCSE calculator, which is the Casio FX 85 GT Plus. I don't know if I'm actually going to take this for A-level as well because I may be able to use, use this one for everything whereas before I don't think I was allowed to take the other one into some of my exams. So yeah this is kind of the more basic calculator. Pretty self-explanatory, good for maths and science. So yeah. On the note of maths and science I also like to keep a compass in my pencil case. I also normally keep a protractor in my pencil case, however it looks like I've currently lost mine so let's just pretend I have a protractor in my other hand. Okay that's a bit weird but yeah compass and protractor. And I also like to keep a uh, flexible 30cm ruler in my pencil case, again an absolute essential for taking maths and science. And the flexible ones it's just easier to keep in your pencil case and also they break less frequently. So sticking to the slightly more boring note, I black pens, I black pens, black pens. So I like the um, Bic Crystal Grip ones. I've managed to use the lid to all of these because these are the ones I was using in my GCSEs. But you know, you get the point. They're pens. Um, yeah, these are really nice to write with. To be honest, though, I'm not that fussy. I like biros rather than ink pens, though. Just I find them nicer to write with. Um, so yeah, black pens. These are my favourite ones pretty boring but yeah an absolute essential for note taking. I then have an excess of pencils, I don't think I need to take this many with me but this is what's in my pencil case anyway. Um, so yeah I tend to use the Helix Oxford ones to be honest I'm not that fussy it's just what we happen to have at home and then I have one mechanical pencil. Um, yeah pencils good for drawing and science and maths. Yeah. Um, I then have a scissors, a scissors, scissors and a glue stick. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to need these for A-level, but they were useful for GCSE, so I'll probably keep them in for now, but I may well take them out after a couple of weeks if I don't use them. So yeah, just a Pritt stick and a pair of scissors. Yeah. So that is most of the boring stuff, um, we'll get on to the more like fun stuff now. So the first thing is I keep this little rubber in there, so it's just a little Lego brick and uh, this was again a present from my form tutor, um, but yeah it's really cute, it's always good to have just like a little rubber with you all the time because I make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. So I then currently have these three lettering pens, which are the Pilot lettering pens. Um, these are really nice to use, apart from the fact that I am completely awful at lettering. Um, they are each different sizes, there's, there's a, I think it's 10, 20 and 30. To be honest, I don't know what that means, other than the fact that the bigger the number is, the, <laughs> the thicker the nib is. 
but yeah, no, these are really nice, apart from the fact that I'm really bad at using them. To be honest, I used them more when I was using a bullet journal, whereas this year I'm using a planner planning system. Pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, um, so I don't know if I'm actually going to take these, but I will leave them again in there for now, and I will take them out if I decide I don't need them anymore. So, uh, next in my pencil case, I like to keep some highlighters. So I have a selection of a different Stab dropping them. Stabilo Boss ones. Um, I tend to use the thick ones just because I don't like it when the thin ones don't like highlight all the text. That really annoys me. Anyway, so yeah, I have a mixture of the pa uh, pastel and the, um, I'm just going to call them original ones. Um, it looks like a random selection of colours, but it makes sense when you see how I take my notes. So yeah, if you want to see that video, leave a comment down below and I will film that. So yeah, just some highlighters. I actually don't tend to highlight words a lot, but I use them for my notes. Again, if you want to see that video, comment down below and it will make more sense. But yeah, just some highlighters to keep on me. I then like to keep some coloured pens on me. So I have the Pentel gel ones. I would really recommend these. They're really nice to write with, even though I'm not a big fan of gel pens generally. But yeah, these are really nice to write with. Um, the only one I don't like is this green one because it doesn't come out this colour. It's not a very nice colour in my opinion. But again, that's nothing really to do with a pen. It's just probably my personal preference. But anyway, yeah, these gel pens, again, actually I have all of these in my pencil case. But um, yeah, these are important in my note-taking system. But yeah, the Pentel gel pens. On the same note of coloured pens, I have just have two different coloured biros. Again, these are the Bit Crystal ones because these are my favourite type of biros. Um, yeah, just a blue and a green. I got the green because I don't like the green in that thing because I'm just that extra. And a blue just because occasionally I like to write in blue. Not very often, but yeah, just a blue and a green pen. Pretty basic. And the final thing that I keep in my pencil case is a selection of the Vapormate flare pens. So I really like these, they are really nice to write with. Um, yeah, the only thing I'd say is they do run out quite quickly, but that might just be because I've used them quite a lot. Um, again, it looks like a bit of a random selection of colours, but it makes sense with my personal note-taking system. So yeah, I've just got a selection of the Papermate Flare pens, they have a medium nib in case you actually care. Um, but yeah, these are really nice to write with. Again, they work with my note-taking system quite well. And it's just good to add a little bit of genius. It's good to add a little bit of colour to your notes. The lid just fell off that one. That was clever. Anyway, so yeah, just um, more coloured pens because you definitely need that many coloured pens in your pencil case at once. So that is everything that I keep in my pencil case. Um, this may change as I start A levels because obviously I don't 100% know what I need yet because I'm still nearly at the beginning of my summer. But anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave any comments down below, uh, any suggestions that you have in the comments down below. And I will try to respond to if you have any questions, either uh, send a comment or uh, DM me on Instagram because I will probably answer. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more study related content and follow my Instagram at Life of Revision. Just a bit of, you know, self-promo there. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon.